Hey folks, uh, welcome back again to yet another video in this video series where I'm going to help you, uh, you know, revise uh, Java programming and Blue JM environment very quickly. So this is going to be my uh, video, I guess. The previous video being like introduction to loops using while loops. So it was a pretty short video, and at the end of the video, I promised you like in the subsequent video, I would be explaining you the differences between while loops and do while loops. Okay, let's get started. In the previous video, uh, hope you had actually watched it. What exactly are loops and why do we need looping? And we had done something using while loops. And in this video, we are going to see what are do while loops? Why do we need do while loops? Well, like, okay, while loops and for loops are the same thing. But why do we need do while loops? Okay, let's actually try out a simple program uh, using do while loops. At the end of the program, you'll be like pretty much clear. Why do we exactly need something called as do while loops. Okay, I've just created a, uh, a class by the name loops class loops. Let me uh, import scanner classes because I'm going to uh, I'm going to use scanner classes over here for the user to allow some uh, user to enter some input here in this program. So Java dot it's going to be import Java dot util dot what's that uh, scanner that's it. And now I'm actually going to create a class. It's pretty simple. You know that. And a simple main function. Public static void main. Okay. And then inside the main function say I have to create a scanner class object. Scanner scanner object new Scanner system dot in. Cool. All right. I need uh, to declare an integer. Int number. I'm initializing it to zero. Now, what I would like to do is the syntax of do while loop looks something like this. Do followed by this thing, and while actually sits here just after the bracket, and some condition. I'm not going to actually type in the condition over here, and this is the syntax of a do while loop. Now, the basic difference between while loop and do while loop is that, say for example, you want to print 10 numbers. What, what would I do is like, just print 10 numbers starting from 1. I would just do this, I would initialize something like i is equal to 1. And I would say while i less than or equal to 10, I would want to print i here system dot out dot print l in i and in the next line I would do i plus plus that's all look at the program over here I mean this one I just enlarge it okay I'm not able to enlarge this look at the program over here this is a simple program using while loops but I'm just printing 10 numbers starting from 1 to 10 this statement will take care or decide how many times the block inside this is going to get executed. But do while loop is slightly different from this. So what do while loop does is we don't have any kind of entry condition over here like the previous program. So whatever is the condition, irrespective of whatever is the condition, the program will get inside this. The program is going to get inside this. Okay, not that. What is the entry condition? The entry condition in the previous uh, while loop program was while i less than or equal to 10. We had given int i is equal to 0. Okay, I hate this noise. Oh, I hate it again. Okay, this is called as an entry condition into the loop. What, uh, whether this decides whether the control is going to get inside the loop block or whether it's going to, you know, skip the entire loop block and go to the next statement over here. This is the next statement. Say, so this is called as the entry condition in the while loop. Even before entering the loop, we are making sure to check the entry condition and then enter the loop. But whereas in do while loop, there is no entry condition. However, there is an, there's a condition over here to exit condition. If this condition is not satisfied, it will come out of the while block. Mind you, there is no entry condition into the do while loop, but there is an exit condition. So do while loops are typically used in scenarios where you want to execute a task at least once and you don't know how many times you want to actually 
Continue the looping operation. I'll repeat it again. Do while loops are used in those programming scenarios where you want to make sure that you are entering inside a looping block. This is a looping block which helps us repeat an operation number of times. You want to enter inside a looping block at least once, at least once, but you don't know when do you actually want to come out. So uh, let's actually create a program. Mm, what kind of scenario? Okay, let's write a program which accepts input from the user. As long as the user actually is entering even numbers, the program continues in the loop. When the user enters an odd number, the program exits. So I'll repeat the program statement once again. The program statement is something like, as long as a user continues to keep entering even numbers, this loop keeps running and the program keeps running. running. And the moment the user actually enters an odd number, the program stops, it exits. So let's write a program. So what do we do? So we have to make sure at least once we're entering inside the loop. So what do I do is system.out.println. We have to ask the user to input some number. Some okay, wait a minute. Alright. So I was actually explaining about like allowing the user to enter a number. So we say enter an integer. We ask the user to enter an integer and I would recommend you to actually watch the video number two in the series which is like the basics of uh, scanner classes. I'm not going into the depths of scanner classes. I've explained the basics of scanner classes which allows the user to input some data into the program using scanner classes. It's very very important. So watch the video number two in case if you haven't watched anything about scanner classes and try out a couple of programs and then actually watch this video otherwise it's going to be very difficult for you to follow what's happening here okay now what I would like to do is um, say I want to store that number input input by the user into a local variable called num is equal to IP which is my scanner class object over here dot next int I think this must be pretty much straightforward now I have to actually uh, tell the user if he has entered an odd number, the program terminates. So if, how do I check the even or odd divisibility check or the remainder check, that is the using the modulus operator, you check for the remainder. If num percentage, if num percentage uh, 2 not equal to 0, this actually would check. This would check if the number is divisible by 2 or not. If it is not divisible by 2, then we have to display a message to the user. What do we have to display? After display, oops, we have entered an odd number and the program is going to terminate. It's something like this. Oops, you, you entered an odd number. Termination. The program terminates. Termination. The program will no longer run. So if you don't want the program to run, we basically mean that we don't want to execute the loop again and again. So I just have to give a break statement over here. This break will ensure that it exits the block of this while loop. Okay. Else. Print. Good. It's an even number. Let's continue. See, if you enter an even number, we are actually making sure that the loop continues. Now is the time to decide whether you want to continue uh, executing this loop again and again or not. So what do we do here? Mm. What do we do? If, not if here, while num percentage 2 equal to 0. This is actually called as a exit condition. We don't have an entry condition into the while loop because this is a do while loop but we have an exit condition. This exit condition would check whether will I have to continue looping or will I have to get out of this and come out of this while loop. If you come out of the while loop the main actually ends here. You see this is the end of main. 
and the program terminates the moment you actually come here so let's execute the program I hope this is clear we are trying to actually create a scanner class scanner class object and then that scanner class object actually is going to allow the user to input an integer and we have uh, a divisibility check over here if the number entered by the user is going to be odd we are terminating the program by exiting the while loop because this is the exit condition over here see if the number entered by the user is an odd number we don't continue the loop this block is a loop if the number is odd we don't continue if the number is even the control actually would branch back to do while loop again. so basically the idea of do while loops is like you use them in a scenario where you have to get inside the loop irrespective of whatever is the entry condition you have to get inside the loop but based on the data which is available next that data can be user input data or it can be a data which is arriving from processing the data within the program okay in this case it is user input data as long as the user keeps on inputting even numbers this loop would continue to run the moment the user actually enters an odd number this loop would terminate so time and again I'm repeating once again do while loops are used in those scenarios where you don't have entry conditions into the program what is an entry condition this is an entry condition like this was a previous program where we wanted to just print uh, 10 integers starting from 1 so we initialize an integer to 1 and then we try to enter the loop trying to check the entry condition each time is i less than or equal to 0 here we increment i plus plus then we print i here we print i here all right so we don't have an entry condition over here and since we know we have to execute this loop 10 times so we have a definitive condition over here but do while loops are used in those scenarios where you don't know how many times you have to execute the loop that's like you know it's it's calculated on the fly or during runtime here it's calculated purely based on the runtime or it's decided based on the runtime whether do I have to continue looping or not depends upon this exit statement or this exit condition if the user input data is a number which is not even I am not going to get inside this block of loop I'm not going to repeat the looping operation once again now let's save the program compile it oh expect it okay it's a bracket over here compile it no syntax errors and then say close now let's call the main function see enter an integer I enter 2 good it's an even number let's continue enter another integer I enter 4 6 8 22 it keeps on continuing as long as I am entering an even number enter an integer say I enter 3 oops you enter an odd number termination see program terminated nothing actually is appearing on the screen over here clear it close it now let me try to explain the same thing using breakpoints okay for breakpoints I would actually say put a breakpoint over here I guess you know what breakpoints are breakpoints are actually uh, something which you can do with your blue jay you just have to add a red dot which actually signifies a breakpoint when you say set or clear breakpoint when the program is running it would stop here each time and it would wait for you to actually press a button to continue execution so I've already done this in explaining while loops so it's not going to be a new thing for you and uh, I would like to put one more breakpoint over here see now let's compile it now let's compile it so I would show you that it would anyway come inside the block while block without checking any condition that's the speciality of do while loops it doesn't check entry condition however it checks the exit condition when it is running the loop for the second time so by default the operations inside this will run at least once irrespective of whatever is the value of num whereas in while loops see here suppose you initialize into 11 it will never enter the while loop block over here even once even once it won't enter because it fails the condition if i less than or equal to 10 you're supposed to enter inside and do something if i is initialized to 11 it won't even enter this while block whereas in do while block irrespective of whatever is the input value over here it will enter the while block this is the entire thing is a looping block or the while block but while exiting the while block it will check for a condition whether do i have to continue 
running or not. So basically, while loop based on the input conditions might not even execute the simple while condition might not even execute once but do while loop you make sure you execute at least once and mostly it is used in those scenarios where you don't know how many times you have to execute the loop compile it close it let me minimize this uh, sticky pad then yes call the main see it stops here it has entered the do while loop it's entered at least once I say step into can you see the red arrow over here? I mean the black arrow over here and the yellow highlight which shows that it's stopping there because I put a breakpoint over there. I've asked the program to stop there until I press step in 2 because I'm controlling the execution. Step in 2. See? Can you see this thing here? Where is it entering? See it's asking me to enter an integer. I enter an integer. Say 2. I press an enter key. And then I go back to this stepper and say step in 2. See? Good. The number is even. Let's continue. Did you see? It has printed everything. It's actually printed everything over here. It's printed everything over here. And it's printed all that. And, and the control has now come to the second breakpoint which I put over here. The arrow mark actually is over the second red dot. This is the first red dot. This is the second red dot. The arrow mark actually is now pointing to this highlighted yellow bar. It's now checking. Is num percentage 2 is equal to 0. Yes, the number which I entered is 2. So 2 divided by 2, the remainder is 0. Now, if this condition is true and see where the control is going to branch, it's going to branch over here, wherever I put a breakpoint. So step in 2. See, it came here. It's continuing because the number which I entered is 2. So 2 divided by 2, the remainder is 0. This condition is satisfied. This condition over here, the while condition is satisfied. So the control actually shifted here. Now let's actually go back to this thing and pray. Then press step into input, enter it. Where is it? Main running. It's actually asking for an input. Enter an integer. Say I would say I would enter three now. And press enter key. Oops, you entered an odd number and program finished. Terminated. It will not go back again because this condition failed here. And the program terminated. Clear. Close. I would like to show it to you once again by using the very first number as an odd number itself. Call the main function over here. Okay, you see the you see the program stopping over here. It's already entered the looping block. Step into enter an integer. I would enter three. Press enter key. Alright. And I have to go back here since I've entered 3 here, 3 as an integer, and I'm here, and I press step in 2. It says main finished. It exited. It didn't even come here. It exited. Main finished. Terminating. See? Previously, you saw the loop actually continuing. Let me remove the. Things. Okay, fine. Previously, you saw the loop actually executing, and now as soon as I enter an odd number, this loop actually is exiting. So hope do while loops is actually clear to you. So this is the basic idea of using do while loops. You use them in one scenario where you have to make sure you have to enter inside a looping block at least once but you don't know when you're going to come out. When you're going to come out depends upon what is the kind of data you're going to process. So here I'm processing the user input data. As long as the user is going to input even numbers, the looping continues but the user actually inputs an odd number it breaks up. So you can write as many number of programs what you want to write using do while blocks. That's it for now and uh, hope it is actually useful for you and let me pause the video or let me stop the recording. Alright, goodbye. See you in another video.